What is up everybody? Welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. Uh, today, my... One of my objectives is to find a spade. Because I have no idea where to go for that. I know that's... Oh, hello. That's one of the... Tasks... Is to find a spade so I can go dig up the grave over in this vicinity uh, oh never mind it's gone have you had to talk to him again oh, I don't know uh, let me look Yeah, I don't know why that's not showing up now. Oh, it's because it's... That's why, it's over here. So I need to... I probably need to fast travel over here and then search this area where the cursor is all the way over here so we're gonna go do that real quick and uh, I will see you guys in a second when we when I hopefully I find it so I found it at the executioner's place which is uh look it's like right over here in this area uh, where this where I am where the thing is and it's right behind this little door and it's not that obvious and I get to get really close to it too so there's that now I have to go back over here and dig up this grave hopefully this guy doesn't catch me I have a feeling he might Yeah, let's start digging. Nothing on the left hand. The right? Oh shit, there's nothing there either. Where the fuck is that ring? <coughs> oh, a stench makes me want to puke. Peshek will pay for this. Uh oh. Okay. Um. What's that? Okay. Now I get to fast. I'm gonna go ahead and fast travel back over there, and tell. What about to say? Oh, thank you. Tell him. That yeah, I couldn't get it. I guess I don't know. There we go. God be with you. There was a corpse in the grave, but no ring. What the fuck is going on? Easy, Hal. Hold your horses. If the ring wasn't on the corpse, the executioner must have taken it before he buried the body. Well, I can see where this is going. You want me to get the ring from the executioner? Clever lad. Only I wouldn't recommend talking to him about it. He's a bit touchy on the subject of robbing the dead. It'd be better to pinch it from his house. So I think I tried doing that before. Yeah. All right, I'll go and find that ring. It should be in a trunk somewhere in the house. And look here, Henry. Do you know how to get past a lock? No. Get past the lock? You mean jemmy it off with a crowbar? No, you don't. I mean the delicate, gentle art of opening it quietly and with sensitivity, like popping a young maiden's cherry. Oh my God. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to try that yet. Fucking hell. How did I get landed with a cretin like you? I'll have to teach you then. Come with me. Try unlocking this trunk. Hold the lockpick in your right hand and use it to feel out the tumbler. In your left hand, you hold the blade and 
use it to turn the whole mechanism into the right mode. It's quite easy. It only takes a bit of practice. Now try poking around in the lock with the pick until you feel the right point where the tumbler is. What? Got it? Good. Now turn the whole lock with the blade, but don't stop holding the tumbler with the pick. Otherwise, it'll be fucked and you'll have to start all over again. You forced it and broke the lock pick. That crack could be heard in Kuttenberg. You have to watch out for that. An experienced guard will recognize the sound at once. God damn, dude. I don't know how to do this. Come on, man. I don't want to do this. So it's right here. It's in this area, right? This is not easy. Well, that that sucks. Guess I'm not doing that. So, what we are gonna do is we're gonna fast travel over here and do this task right here. Go to the training ground and talk to Captain Bernard. Let's go on fast travel, and I'll see you guys in a second. Let's go talk to him. Hello, Captain Bernard. Good health to you. You too. I'm here for training. Yes, you're that boy Sir Radzik sent.
I'm not a boy. That's no, okay no, no. to Right now, a boy is exactly what you seem. You seem like a boy. Uh, and because you've never held a sword in your hand before, we'll start with something simpler. Sure, well. Not. Come with me and listen closely. I don't want to be repeating myself. So let's see what you're made of. Hold it properly and keep moving. Never stand still when your life depends on it. Right, good. Now try attacking. You've got to put your back into a good slash. No use waving the sword around like you're swatting flies. Go into the attack with your whole body. Try slashing from various sides to get used to it. Pointy tip isn't for decoration. Try stabbing me with it a few times. Good. That will do. Slashing, stabbing, and movement are the foundations that you build everything else on. Now, let's try something more complicated. One strike, I can simply fend off. You mustn't give your opponent time to react. String your strikes together. As soon as you finish one, begin another. Strike, strike, strike. Well oh, I hit you. Ha ha. What is it? Sudden visitation by the Holy Spirit? Not bad. Now let's see how you do with defense. It's not hard to block a basic strike. Just watch out and move your sword into the path of the blow. Ow. Very good. See what you're made of, lad. Come at me and don't hold back. You got it. Holy fuck, you got holy. Hold on, hold on. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Fine enough. If you're not a complete dead loss, it'll be hard work to turn you into a master, but you have the basics. Let's try something more advanced. When in combat, keep an eye on the space between you and your opponent. That is your space. Yeah. If you attack from the side, the opponent will find harder to block mm. in time. If I'm holding the sword raised up, do an uppercut. If my sword is low, lunge. Let's try it. You strike a few times at the side where I'm not holding my sword. Yeah. Well all right. Right. Lesson two. Everything you've learned about blocking is wrong. When I cover, I can simply fend off your blows with my sword and gain control of the space between us. But it's better not to control just the space, but actually your opponent's weapon. Attack, and I'll show you. I don't want to. Ah. 
All right, that will do. Now you. The trick is to stay in your stand. As soon as I start to attack, you block. The move knocks the blade aside. <clears throat> no, not like that. You mustn't hold a sword there. You have to move along with the attack. Again. <sighs> Too soon again. <sighs> Very good. <sighs> All right. Huh. That's different. Not bad. Well done. Ah, that's it. Right, now we'll try it a little faster. Concentrate and block just at the moment I start attacking. I'll strike you from above each time so you can see it well. and catch the rhythm. You see the sword move, you move at the same time and deflect it. <clears throat> nice. Ow. Ah, that's it. Ah. <laughs> nice. Good, good. Now let's try it at full speed. Okay. You probably won't succeed, but that's normal at the start. You must train. Let's go. Oh, my God. Captain Bernard. Oh. Oh. Wait a while, Henry. Oh. Who are you? Good greetings, okay. Sir Hans. What brings you here? Oh. I was on my way when I noticed that you're entertaining Sir Radzig's esteemed guest. Not the same as holding a hammer, is it, blacksmith? It's Sir Radzig's oh, orders. I already want to kill you. I know. I'm actually here to train at the archery range. My hand's grown heavy lately. You don't mind, do you, Bernard? Not at all, my lord. Good day to you, blacksmith boy. Try not to hurt yourself. You wanna fight? Come here. Come here. Let's go fight. Where did we finish? Yeah. Leading the opponent where you want him. There's one more way to evade a strike. You simply step aside, attack, and I'll show you. Hutta! All right, try it. It's important not to move too soon. I'll see where you're going and hit you. That the same will happen if you move too late. I'll attack slowly now. How do I Just dodge though? Raise the weapon, jump aside. It'll throw the opponent off a bit, and there's your chance. Used to the rhythm. Never take your eyes off your opponent. You'll see a strike before it's even properly started. Good. Huh. Not bad. You're right. Now no, I attack you and you die. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was the third one. And the last thing for today. A trick. A trick. Raise the sword to force your opponent to block. But then, change the direction of the attack at the last moment, and the opponent won't even know what hit him. Try it. 
Draw back the weapon, then change the attack zone and strike, so I don't have time to react. Too bad. Maybe we'll make a soldier of you after all. But don't get cocky. You have to train hard and persistently. You might have talent, but talent alone won't do. Practice. All right. Is that really it? Don't leave yet. Sir Radzik also wanted me to teach you archery. Come with archery. Me. I can do that. Come on, Jesus. come on. Be a bit more careful. Hurry up. There we go. Hmm. Let's see then. Take this bow, go and stand in position over there, and we can start. And another thing. Put on this arm guard. Without it, you could flay your forearm with a bowstring, so be sure to wear it. Thank you, Captain. Save the thanks and get in position. Now concentrate. A bow ain't exactly the weapon of choice of a knight, but it can come in very handy. Can I put it on? two bandits coming at you from a distance. You shoot one in the eye, drop your bow, and draw your sword on the other. Emperor Charles, God rest him, encouraged his subjects to learn archery. He even organized contests in Prague. You wouldn't have gotten far there. Oh my god. Like a piece of firewood. But enough Where talk. are you shooting? Here's the target. You try don't. and hit it. Draw the bow, aim, and release. Try to get a feel for oh. the rhythm. Inhale on the draw. Hold your breath for a moment. And then release the string. No jerky movements. Just let the string slide out of your fingers. As if you were about to draw it back more. It's all one movement. I'm not surprised the arrow at the girl. target your and flying at it. Oh, I Shoot see. away. What you have there is a training bow. The arrow drops quickly. Once you've trained a bit, you can get yourself a better one, and then those arrows will fly so fast you won't see them. Don't forget the arm guard. Once you've mastered the bow, has anyone bit, told you, you you're supposed to shoot at the target? You're about Where to be my target. You shooting, you don't. If you want to hit anything, you're going to have to aim. Well, that was awful. I didn't imagine a village yokel like you would have much skill, but you failed to meet even my low expectations. I don't know why you're wasting your time, Sir Bernard. Nothing will come of him anyway, and at the first sign of trouble, he'll run away like any other cowardly peasant. After all, he's done it before. What did you say? Calm down, boy. Keep in mind who you're talking to. A braggart who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Uh, you've really done it. You'll go to the stocks for that. Calm yourself, Sir Bernard. If the blacksmith boy feels he can prove himself, then let him try. Do you think you can beat me? Well? Any time. Very well. If you defeat me, I'll give you my bow. If you lose, you'll have to pay up. Do you even have any coin? I don't have enough. Then you'll owe me or work it off. Let's get to it. Oh boy. I don't want to do this.
I don't understand why. I Okay, now what? Do you need help? Trouble? I'm done. I can't do anything. <clears throat> This is good. It's not doing anything now. Hey, hey you! Huh. <laughs> I couldn't do anything. Alright, I don't understand why this won't let me do much after. Aha, beat you, bitch. Finally, this thing decides well, not to bug out. I didn't expect that. Probably just wasn't your day, sir. I told you I have a heavy hand ever since I fell off that horse during the last hunt. What are you grinning about, boy? I think you owe me a little payback. How about a sword fight at the arena? If you like. Sir Hans, is this necessary? Sir Hanish has already had words about you fighting with your subjects. He explicitly told me. I know what he told you. You can just tell him I didn't listen to you. So what's it going to be, blacksmith? If we must. Excellent. Then let's go. Ugh. That's cool too. Okay, this is starting to piss me off a little bit. 
It's all buggy. Come on, man. Yeah. You're just lucky. Oh, uh, come on. He's almost dead. Well, we're even then. It looks like I get to keep my bow and you your groschen. Mm. I suppose I should give you credit for taking on my challenge, despite your limitations. Thank you, sir. Godspeed, blacksmith. And don't worry, this isn't the last time we'll meet. We'll have more fun like this again soon. I still don't like you. At all. So what's my next... Don't fret about it, lad. Lord Capon is a good swordsman, and if by some fluke you actually won, well, you might not take it so well. Now go to the rat house. The bailiff's waiting for you there. All right, Captain. The bailiff, huh? Uh, let's go do that real quick. Look where you're going. Well, let me talk to you. Holy. Thank you. God be with you. Master Bailiff, is there anything of interest going on here? Nothing of interest to me, thank Christ. I... I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. I'm to put myself under the Bailiff's command. Ah, so you're the young man Sir Redzig oh, okay. appointed. Yes. Very well. Sir Redzig asked me to test you a little, and as it happens, you've come at the right time. We've a few disputes to settle. It seems some of your former neighbors have been acting quite inappropriately. I was hoping having one of their own on the town watch might help sort things out. I'm not sure. I'm just a boy from a forge. Not anymore, lad. Now you're a part of Sir Radzig's retinue. That brings responsibilities. Have you been to see Captain Bernard? Uh, 
I have. He trained me, and then Sir Hans Capon challenged me to a duel. I see. Sir Hans Capon likes to measure his strength against others. But be careful, Henry. Noblemen are quick to anger, and you don't need that kind of trouble. Well, anyway, you're going to assist my town guard. Come to the church in the afternoon. Yaroslav the Watchman, Nightingale they call him, will wait for you there. He'll show you around the town and teach you a little about keeping the peace. And you need to stop by the armory to pick up some gear. Yes, Bailiff. Okay. I'm not gonna rob him. Maybe now I can. Nah. Nothing too good. Alright, what's this next quest? Ah, okay. Yeah, um, go over here. Pick up this before I do the next part. I was told to pick up a kit here. Name? Henry. And? In fealty to? Sir Radzik Kobola. Hmm, yes, I've got you. Well, come on in then, make yourself at home, Henry. If my memory serves me, you're entitled to a helmet, a gambeson, and a club. A club? Also, I don't want a club. You want a kiss and a hug as well? I mean equipment. It's quite enough for patrolling the town. You're there to stop trouble, not start it. Ah, uh, here we go. Here I am. My name is Henry. We're supposed to go on patrol together? I see you're kitted out. Ready to get going. I'm Nightingale. Aren't you that lad the mill wench brought here on a cart? Teresa. Yes, she rescued me. She turned up with Captain Robot and his knights. All honor to the girl. She has bigger balls than most men. Tell me, how did you pay her back? Well, I, um, I thanked her. That's not much, is it? You should go and see her when you get a chance. So how did you end up in the service of the bailiff? I wanted to enter the service of Saradzik, but he sent me here to learn. And learn you will. You're lucky, lad. Saradzik must like you. Most lords would have just sent you on your way. Come with me, Henry. We'll patrol the town and then check on the taverns to make sure they lock up in the evening. I'm ready. Don't forget, I'm supposed to try you out and, with the help of God, teach you something. So I expect you to deal with any misconduct yourself. I'll make sure you don't do anything too stupid. Let's go. Okay. This is our church, St. Matthew's. You can enjoy a pleasant stroll. I'm reduced to this. I'm from Scarlet and, well, you know. It serves not only as the house of God, but as the crypt of the Lords of Lyper, our masters. The gravedigger lived right round the corner. The priest, too. Our parish priest. Ah, a man shouldn't speak ill about servants of the Lord. This is our rat house. Pretty big, eh? Sure. The bailiff and his hands live there. And our maestro proto-notarius, the scribe. 
and the jailhouse. You don't want to see the inside, not even as a guard. Naturally, we have an executioner too, but he doesn't live in town. That wouldn't be proper, as I'm sure you know. He lives by Gallows Hill, the other side of the creek. I do believe I've seen him. brand new in autumn, and two people have already been rotting on it. The swordsmith lives here. What the hell is going on here now? Just run go and check it out, Henry. If you won't go to the church, go back to your people. I don't want you here. Is that been you? What are you two screeching about? Stop making such a ruckus. About time you turned up. This filthy beggar thinks. My name is Jane. No one cares what your name is. This filthy beggar thinks she can come and stink in front of my shop. I want you to get rid of her. What's the problem here? This is my shop, and I won't have beggars sitting on my doorstep. Let her go and squat in a square. She won't be in anyone's way there, and there's plenty of folk to beg from. Must you sit here, of all places? Yes, I do. Why? Folk drive me away wherever I sit. I can't keep walking all day and night. I think you ought to leave the poor woman be. <laughs> Why should I? Are you sure everything in your business is in order, Master Armorer? What are you trying to say? Just checking whether you're aware of the town ordinance saying the furnace of the forge must be at least two L's away from the nearest wooden building? Of course I know. So I can go to the rat house for the measure and check it. You know fire hazards are taken very seriously here. No need. I wouldn't want to put you to any trouble. Well, you can save me a lot of trouble by ending this little disagreement here reasonably. All right. I'll let her stay. Ah, well, that didn't hurt, did it? Thank you. Thank you a hundredfold. You're welcome. Just stay clear of trouble in future, understood? Of course. Thank you. That was easy. That wasn't bad, but you'll be in that fool's bad books for a while. Well, I don't think I'll be here very long, right? So I don't really care. Your old neighbors are living here now. It's a bit of a shithole. Even so, you should be thankful to Zahanush. Hey, if the town burgers got their way, your folk wouldn't be led anywhere near the town. And now our people aren't too happy with him. Some fools are even calling for Sahanush to finally hand the fiefdom over to the young lord, Sir Hans Capon. Sir Hans's father, my old Sir Yeshke, may God rest his soul, kept it till he was an old man. Then he retired from it, first to Moravia, then to eternity. Sir Hanush is managing the fiefdom until Sir Hans comes of age. They're related by blood somehow, the same great-great-grandfather or some such. The time's coming soon enough when the estates have to be handed over. These affairs often end in conflict. I hope we have nothing like that here. This is honestly really boring. I don't know why I have to do this. What time is it? I can't look. This square here, it looks much better during the markets. Then it's filled to bursting with folk from all around. God save you. 
Jesus, We've look where you're going. shop here, and that mad merchant Wolfram Bruder. Bruder has a pretty daughter, but he keeps her on a short hey. reign, which the young bucks are none too happy about. I heard he even keeps the poor lass locked up at home all day. Okay. How are you, Henry? There's one alehouse here on the market square, the Trader's Tavern. The other's up by the gate. We'll be going there later. This is Let's annoying. Move along Come on. to the inner bailey. Comfortable, are we? Armed, please, sir. Who do you take me for? Are you stupid or just insolent? Well, what's the matter? Stupid, then. There's no begging allowed here, so pick up your stinking arse and haul it somewhere else. Who am I bothering here? Me. Us. Everyone. If the Hunters saw you here, he'd take a whip for you. Damn beggars. Welcome. You Henry. offer them a helping hand and they want the whole arm. It's not like the rules aren't clear. Beggars belong at the church. <clears throat> yep. Here's the forge. The blacksmith has some trouble and he's not working at the moment, but his apprentice is standing in for him tolerably. I hear you're a blacksmith's apprentice too. You lot could help if needed, couldn't you? Us? What do you mean? You and your master, or your father, whoever taught you. They... What is it, lad? My father was the master blacksmith. He was killed in Scalitz. Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Thank you. So am I. My papa died not long ago. Of course, it was old age got him. That's not the same, but I know a little how you feel. This is honestly very obnoxious having to, to walk around this much. The Rate fiefdom is pretty big. Naturally, it starts here by the town and continues along the Sassau River all the way to Kohelnitz. Then there's Gallows Hill, lots of farmhouses scattered around. Neuhof, Merhoyed. Master Smill is in charge of Sir Hanush's stables. He's by far his best vassal. It's all a bit complicated for a newcomer, I suppose. This lord here, that lord there, this exemption here, that right there. Exemptions from exemptions, what? rights to half of something, doing? so on. It'd take you a year to make head or tail of it. This tower was only half the size when I was a young lad. Sir Hanush had it extended and made into an armory. Ugh. Henry, I'm glad you came. God be with you, Benesh. How goes it? Well enough, Nightingale. It's quiet today. Good. Where's Moimir, anyway? Isn't he supposed to be here with you? Ah, yes. 
He hasn't Jesus. turned up yet. Oh, I see. Now, where might he have got to, then? I don't know. You don't know, eh? Let me tell you something. When the bailiff finds out Moimir's slacking off, he'll be everything. in serious my shit. Home, my family, and being my a friend of his, you wouldn't want that, would you? Good no. So it's better if I deal with it and we leave the bailiff out of it, right? Um, yes, I suppose so. So where is he? In the tavern. He was thirsty, so he... Went for an ale. We know how that goes. Come on, Henry. Let's go and find that idler, and you'd better talk some sense into him. I, I really don't want to. God be with you, Henry. Hail me. What the fuck are you doing here when you're supposed to be on the gate? Huh? Move your carcass and don't guard the gate. I... Uh, hey, not a word. Get you. moving. You're lucky it was me found out, not the bailiff. Or oh, God forbid, Captain Bernard. Out! My pleasure. Oh, damn. I'm hungry. I'd like a bite to eat. That fool got me all worked up. Me as well, the lazy bastard. My words exactly, and just when we need every pair of eyes. You never know when the Cumans might creep up on us. But that's enough about that. Let's not let it spoil our day. Listen, since we're sitting here anyway, how about a little game? I'd rather not. I'd rather not. We should go back on duty. All right, if <laughs> you're so keen. Let me finish my ale at least. Just one more thing and we're done for the night. Ringing the end of the day and closing the taverns. Isn't it still a bit early? I don't know how it was in Scarlet's, but here in Rate we close up at this hour. Except, of course, during fairs and big festivals. Then we don't close at all. I see. Should I go and ring the bell? If you wouldn't mind, the bell is hanging outside the Rat House. Ring three times, then go to the Trader's Tavern by the Market Square and make sure the innkeeper closes up. I'll do that. Before I forget, it's forbidden to walk in Rate at night without a torch. Here, take this one. Hey, Henry's oh. come to see us. Okay. Ring the bell. I know I've done. I've seen it before. I actually tried ringing it earlier, but I couldn't do it. Well, I walked up to it and they gave me an option to. I guess I didn't really try to. But I saw it. How are you, Henry? And the canon of St. Wenceslas in Olomouc was so drunk, <laughs> he dragged the pig to the market square, saddled it up, <laughs> and rode it out of the town gate. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 we can we can see we can see that this wasn't going to end well. So Sir Peter and I rode off to look for the good cannon on his pig. <laughs> Did <laughs> you find him? <laughs> we tracked the filthy beast down to a sty beyond Cronau. I mean the beast with a tonsure on its head. <laughs> we never found the real pig, but the Reverend was sound asleep in the pigsty. <laughs> Birds of a feather stick together. <laughs> it seems the same goes for pigs and planets. <laughs> <laughs> I toast, gentlemen, to pigs and planets. God <laughs> save their bacon. <laughs> Sir Hans, forgive my intrusion, but I need... Oh, but what? You uh, want to join us? Want to <laughs> buy us around? <laughs> I'm afraid we don't drink with peasants. You're not in your village now, boy. No, sir. <laughs> Curfew's been rung. The alehouse is closing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing closes while I'm sitting here. If that's all, you're dismissed. Are you out of your mind, lad? You can't cross his lordship. He's got a temper like a bear with gut egg. 
If I was you, I'd get lost before he shows it. The bailiff instructed me to close the tavern at the proper hour. He doesn't want anyone disturbing the peace after curfew. The bailiff? The bailiff can kiss my ass. I trust you haven't forgotten who's the rightful lord of Ratte. No, it's Sir Hannes. Oh, is he here? Or is he hiding under the table, maybe? <laughs> no, then what he wants isn't worth a fart in a bathhouse. And besides, he's only in charge till I grow up. <laughs> Which clearly hasn't happened yet. Enough. You can't talk to me like that. I'm a nobleman. Come now, sirs. You're not going to fight here, are you? We most definitely are. This yokel needs to be taught his place. Great. Give up. Let him out of here. Effects. What in the name of Christ is happening here? Well, answer me, damn you. This peasant insulted me. I had to teach him a lesson. By rolling around in the mud like a hog? That's a fine example of noble conduct. Sir Hannes, the bailiff ordered me Silence! to... Silence! You shut your mouth and thank your lucky stars that you are Radzig's ward. Have you gone out of your mind? Raising your hand to a nobleman? And you, Hans. How many times have I told you that drinking with your subjects might be good for their morale, but it's bad for your honor? <sighs> you spend all your days drinking and chasing wenches, which wouldn't matter if you paid any attention at all to your duties. And now we see what that leads to. Tomorrow, you will go with me to a hearing. Some landowners have asked me to settle a dispute. It'll be an excellent lesson for you. I had planned to go hunting, but if you think listening to the pointless gripes of a bunch of old fools will benefit me, so be it. Oh, hunting. Well then, Your Grace, I'll tell you what. You can go hunting. Really? Oh, naturally. Who am I to deprive the young Lord Capon of his sport? And you can take Henry here as your page. Him? Absolutely not. You'll do as I've commanded. It's time you learned how to lead people, and not just in drinking and brawling. Now get out of my sight! Sir, I have responsibilities to the bailiff. Not I anymore! Can't... Your responsibilities now are to Lord Capon. It's time you learned how to behave in the presence of nobility. Let's go! Tell the kitchen I'm hungry. It's been a long journey. <laughs> 